Hey, what's up guys, Rip here. So we're once again talking about Niji Sanji because believe it or not, this situation has only continued to get worse. You can see the phrases that are trending. Those are the topics we're gonna be covering today. So nobody would have thought that there would be this much backlash on a termination announcement from Niji Sanji, but here we are. This was the catalyst that has brought a lot of bad things Niji Sanji's way. Now this is what everyone's talking about. This is the update from yesterday. Niji Sanji appears to be in damage control mode, okay? So on their official Any Color website, they have released a new statement addressing everything that is going on with the Selen termination and the fallout from it. You can see this is a direct message to their investors. It says, Impact of the decision to terminate the affiliation contract with the Niji Sanji EN Liver on our financial results. Here is the entire statement everything that's happened over the past couple of days this is their official response on february 5th 2024 any color made the decision to terminate our affiliation contract with the niji sanji en liver selen tatsuki the impact of this decision on our financial results will be negligible now if you don't know what that word means it, it's basically like meaningless or uneventful no impact whatsoever that's what they're saying two sentences that is their entire response, and they're basically saying there will be no negative financial results as a consequence of firing Selin. Now, besides the outrageous claim that this will have no bad financial results on their company, uh, let's just remember what was in the original document. In the termination document they shared on Twitter, they clearly stated that the actions of Selin caused damage to their company. They said that, but here they're saying the termination their decision to do that will have no negative impact so basically they're saying the only damage caused in this entire situation is the responsibility of selen and her actions while she was still working with niji sanji that is crazy now for the claim that there's been no negative financial results as a result of this termination that is a flat-out lie i mean the stocks don't lie you can look at this I even highlighted the 5th of February, the day they made the termination announcement. And you can see what's happened in the past couple of days since then. Not a very good look. I mean, it's essentially like Niji Sanji and Any Color are burying their heads in the sand and refusing to admit that this was a bad decision, no matter how clear it is to everyone else in this situation. And part of this is not only the reputation of the company being damaged, but some actual action from people who are partners with Niji Sanji. We've seen some merch companies pull out. Well, today we have an update. More companies have pulled out. So false here reports, the Height PC website appears to be experiencing errors on the Niji Sanji collection page. So as it turns out, that was not an error. That was an intentional effort by Height. So here's the update saying this has been posted on Height's official Discord server by their lead architect. So here's their lead architect of the company saying, Till height is negligible with a screenshot of the any color statement. I think it's safe to say they are no longer working with Niji Sanji. However, they're still working with Hollow Live, by the way. You can see their, uh, their PC parts here, full on display. You can find those in the uh, PC cases section of their website. And once again, Hollow Live winning by simply not having terrible management. But going forward, we talked about this yesterday. A lot of the fellow EN livers from Niji Sanji are hemorrhaging subscribers, losing thousands every single day. And like I said yesterday, there's several reasons for that. I think number one, people are just in general displeased with Niji Sanji and they are unsubscribing from all livers from at least the EN branch. But there's also a lot of people witch hunting because in the document announcing Selen's termination, they claim there was a bully within the company who was harassing Selene to the point of attempting her own life. But we didn't get a name. So people are going around and trying to figure out, based on public information, who this bully was. And they're just unsubscribing from everyone. And it's been bad on the talents. That's once again Niji Sanji's management throwing their own livers under the bus to save themselves from looking bad. Now we're at a point where some of these livers unfortunately have fallen below certain subscriber milestones that they worked very hard for. You can see Alira here falling under 600,000 subscribers as well as Rosamy falling under 500,000 subscribers. Now 
out of all the EN livers, the one people are talking the most about right now is Enna. So what happened was she made some comments during a members only stream that took place yesterday that had some people very upset or concerned. Now, of course, this is a members only stream. This is something you have to pay to be a part of. This is paywall content. I can't show the clips. I also wouldn't even dare to show the screenshots from it because I know that any color is itching to copyright strike down any video talking about them negatively. I mean, they've done it in the past. They've completely abused the copyright system to shut down criticism. We've seen that before with channels like Kyo. But anyways, with this case, I obviously can't show the clips, but I can describe what people are talking about. There's certain phrases and some small bits of that members only stream that have a lot of people talking. There's one point where Enna flat out says, don't go spending your day trying to dig for the truth or trying to defend the truth or trying to like, I don't know, kill the truth. Referring of course to the Selen situation. And shortly after that, she says this, I think even if I killed someone, you guys would still support me, which you know I appreciate. So in response to those clips going around on places like Twitter right now, some people are very angry. They think this is very, uh, it, it's not very sensitive about the situation. And it's also, they're, they're inferring it as Anna basically telling them to stop looking for the truth of the situation. Other people have responded to this by saying it's really just a nothing burger. It was just a poorly phrased set of sentences. And personally, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, you can feel free to disagree. I just think it was a, a very poorly worded set of statements and very, very poorly timed set of statements. If you're going to talk about this Selen situation as an Ian Liver from Niji Sanji, you better expect everything that you're saying is going to be captured. If you say something wrong or poorly worded, people are going to pick up on that and that's what happened here. And now people are attacking Enna and now people are just coming up with their own theories about what's happening. It's causing more issues for Niji Sanji and the reputation right now. But moving forward, uh, we've seen a lot of the EN Livers losing subscribers. Well, we know one person who's definitely not losing subscribers and that is Doki Bird. This is the past life account of Selen that she is making her return to and she has crossed over 300,000 subscribers already in two days. And a reminder that at 8 p.m. EST today, she will be streaming and making her re-debut as Doki Bird. So tune in for that. But as you can see, Right now, hours before this stream's even happening, she has over 6,000 people waiting in the chat for this stream to go live. And luckily for us and everyone interested in Doki Bird and what's going on, during this time she has made many different chats and uh, messages in her chat sharing what's going on with her, what's, what's going on with her community, her streams, and really just kind of her, her mindset and where she's at. You saw people like this documenting it, so let's read some of these messages. She said, thank you everyone for the 300K subscribers. I promised I wouldn't cry more today, but don't worry this time, they are happy tears. And then she goes on to say, thank you for giving back so much love. I hope we can create more memories together. Hi everyone, I'm so overwhelmed because I didn't realize how much work I had to since I was not prepared at all and never thought I'd be back on this channel. I'm gonna start adding moderating stuff now on the channel since I wasn't able to before with other behind the scenes work. Let's all be respectful, okay? We are starting a new life and a new beginning. Let's look at the positive and not dwell too much on the past. Also, uh, I'll drop some news for news here for people in chat. Expect something on Lunar New Year. And then she goes on to say later, oh my God, I'm laughing so much. I'm not patient enough to wait and tell this story. So I say it here in chat. I had someone DM me and they were like, you live in Canada as a threat, like a dox threat. And I'm crying laughing. What gave it away? My biggest secret, being Canadian. Again, thank you everyone for the 300K. I haven't streamed in so long. It's going to be weird. 500K by the end of the year. Now, there's another section in the chat that also went over some pretty interesting stuff where she said, for the people in the chat, I'll give you guys some good news. I got a manager to help me out. I cried when they told me I shouldn't have to fund my own projects and that sponsors can actually help with it, which is a very big departure from what it sounds like her experience in Niji Sanji was when it came to funding her projects. But she goes on to say, they are actually a really good manager, well-known behind the scenes. 
I told them I'll only hire them if they can provide me three things that I want and one of them was a PC sponsor and they said it's possible. Now, this is just uh, maybe a coincidence here, but we talked earlier in the video about Height PC uh, dropping Niji Sanji and then part of her negotiation process here was getting a PC sponsor. So, I don't know, who knows? And it very clearly seems like the the people behind Height are supporting someone like Doki Bird in this situation, but anyways, so she went on to say, my manager is also working on opening a PO box for all of you too that they'll be vetting for me. Also, I won't have memberships or supers until I have three more videos posted. I'm thinking of maybe uploading three shorts just to maybe hit monetization early. Also, thank you everyone for donating on Streamlabs and the support on my Etsy. I'm so sorry for how slow the packaging is. There's a lot of orders. I was really worried during the last month, especially financially, so thank you. Medical bills and other bills were not cheap and I was so stressed out, so thank you everyone for your kindness. I know people are like Canadian insurance, but my care card was expired when it all happened, so thank you, you helped a lot with my life and I hope I can repay all of you soon. And then she went to Twitter to make this statement saying, I wanna, I wanna say thank you everyone for all the support the last few days. After being in the darkest point of my life in silence for so long, I honestly lost hope for my future when everything I've done was just gone. I hope I can repay all of you in the future 10 times more. There's so many opportunities that opened up and so many friends I've made over the years that spoke out. Big companies still believing in me and offering to sponsor me. I've always loved supporting artists for years, even before all this, so thank you for giving your voice. Now, of course, again, the stream is today, so make sure to check it out. The chat is exploding and people are already lining up in the thousands. It'll be a very good time, I'm sure. And uh, of course, you know, feel free to support her. This is a very big opportunity. This is gonna be a huge stream. And in, you know, in the fallout of that, what she says in the stream will be very interesting. I, I don't necessarily think she's probably gonna address too much, but if she does, address anything about this Niji Sanji situation. We'll be sure to cover it tomorrow. So that's gonna do it for this video. That's where we're at. That's the update, day three of the uh, Niji Sanji related chaos. But that's all for today. Uh, as always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.